I wanted to make sure that it was legit. And let me tell you guys this, this is my answer right now about loose fishing. So now I'm confident in saying that loose. Stay tuned. This is why I ended up switching over to all lose rods and reels. What's up, Kicking Their Bass fam? This is Fishing Normal. I'm gonna show you guys my swim bait box right here, even though it is very dry right now, but we do have some swim bait still left in here. I took everything out, but we left some of them in here, kinda, sorta. So right here, anyways, so here's one of my eye slides and the tail came off and it has some fuzzy, I have no clue what that is actually. As a matter of fact, This is, it's a do you remember when we put yes. your, oh I spit all no. over the camera. <laughs> do you remember when we put your camera Bro. in this box and we were uh I'm not gonna say yes. the name of the lake, but we were there. No look, and look, then we look. left it there. <laughs> it's your microphone cover. Here, here you guys go. That'll block some of the wind out. <laughs> what the <laughs> I was like what is Take two. I was like, this all, this all works. We're good. I can't take it anymore. Oh that was my so gosh. good. So yeah, this one has a magnet on the bottom. It's pretty cool. I haven't used it in probably like three years though, to be fair. I did take all my cool swim baits out and I hung them up on the wall. And then I came here with my my average swim baits, I guess. We got ourselves the Ghost Gill Ganterelle. I actually caught some on the bedding season last year. Fall. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the inside joke, guys. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so we got this uh, ghost gill ganserelle here. As you can tell, I had it tied on uh, multiple times and caught some bedding fish on this thing. They do not like it. You can actually put a weight on the front of this little bluegill right here. Looks like he's eating the eggs on the uh, bass's bed. So yeah, it's a killer uh, bed fishing bait. Any type of bait, really. I mean, it's not any type of bait. It's this one. Bait. What am I? What am I saying? Any time you can fish with this thing. For real, for real. And then the rest of the stuff in here, I mean, this is the S waiver, probably my favorite glide bait of all time. For glide baits, these are actually super cheap or affordable because some of them can be hundreds of dollars and this one's only $20. You know who's caught a ton of fish on that? And you know Isaac. Dude, that's like all he throws, he's like religious with those. One, three weeks ago on a S waiver. Really? Mm -hmm. Big one? On a fat catfish on one of these, a like a pounds. big old catfish uh, in Alabama on, on this a thing. Glide bait? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Norm, you gotta. Oh, my hair going crazy. <laughs> I'm telling him I need a haircut. I look like a goober. My hair's getting too long here. What if we do this? We better. Straight thug. Yeah. Well, that's enough of uh, Norm's swim bait you guys, tackle box. Do you want to see more? Um, Cause I got yeah, more. They, if they want to see more, they can see more. But um, I just kind of wanted to show a sneak peek. Hey, look at all that stuff, man. Norm, Norm pulled out of swim bait box. I was like, I think you guys would want to see it. And I also wanted to show that I'm here with my boy Norm, here with my boy A-Dub. Today's a little different video, but there's one more thing I want to show you before we hop into the juice of this video. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. Get this video to like 5,000 likes, boys, because we're going to film some bangers. And also, since I'm posting this tonight, draw some ideas. We're going to be filming like the next five days. So drop ideas you want to see with these two boys. So, uh... What are you doing? What, what, what is this man doing? This yeah. Just straight model status? The is... sun is directly in my eyes and my pupils are burning. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Let me take a break. <laughs> so I wanted to announce that as you guys saw, if you saw in one of my latest videos, I showed you guys my new boat. Well, this is it fully wrapped. We just got it done. Um, it's just like the truck. We finally got it matching that. We got the cryptic camo and it's like the gray and black in there. And then also the new kicking logo and also sponsor logos on the edge oh, for car, oh. for, <laughs> for uh, what? What is this? Dude. What'd you do? No, that wasn't me. Yo, it was I just, just there. Come on, bro. Yo, Your swear, wrap's already broken. Look. Come on, bro. You actually can't even see it because it's cryptic camo. Come on, yeah, bro. You can't see it. it's Am I floating? It's invisible. All we see is a big green fish on the side who's swimming freely in the <laughs> And then for the car. <laughs> hey, hold up. So, wait. There's a big bass are swimming in the lake and they're like, holy cow, look at that jacked fish. <laughs> I can't take you. Guys anymore. <laughs> but for the carpet graphics, got the huge kicking logo in the middle, sponsor logos on the outside. And now overall just turned out really good. Big shout out to Z Decals for doing this. Big thank you to them.
Who drinks coffee like that? I swear if you spit that over me <laughs> when you start laughing. Oh, I'm sorry, I've been looking at the squirrel. I've been looking at the squirrel. Look at that squirrel right there. That's a thick boy. Alright, alright. Alright, sorry. <laughs> To run out of storage Dude, I on this looked thing. at the squirrel right before we we're gonna do this and we're just done so if you guys are wondering why you clicked on this why, if you're wondering why that you ended up clicking onto this video so the reason you guys ended up clicking on this video is because you guys are probably curious that I was exclusively using 13 fishing products for you know a couple of years and then I started using other brands one including Lou's and I'm gonna kind of go through the process on what went down. This is a message I really needed to say to you guys much earlier, but there's a whole reason on why I didn't do that. And so I'm gonna spill it today. So if you guys are a fan of the channel, you guys have been supporting me for a while. I appreciate the support. Um, I would like you guys to watch this all the way through so you guys kind of understand the whole deal because I kind of want to get it off my chest. It's been a while. So for you guys that have been watching my channel for a while, 2017, 2018, I was sponsored by 13 Fishing. Um, you know, I was under a contract with them. I sponsored by with them from 2017 to 2018, a little bit in 2019, but I wasn't under contract. Um, with that being said, at the beginning of the year, we both just couldn't come on with terms for the 2019 season. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm actually a full-time student at college and I'm doing a lot and they were wanting to produce like a lot more video content for their channel, which I would love to be a part of, but it was just something I couldn't really walk away from school and be able to do my videos and kicking their bass and the brand and do all that together was something that wasn't gonna be able to happen. Um, the people over at 13, literally everything about them, great people. I have nothing bad I can say about any of them. Um, their products, amazing products, because I saw a lot of people commenting like, dude, is there something wrong with their stuff? Like all, a bunch of stuff and no, you know, th they make premium products. Um, just like almost any other rod and reel brand out there on the market at the end of the day every company makes something that's good um, And it's nothing if their product was bad or something was going wrong. It's not that so don't take that in the wrong way But let's go ahead and move into 2019 and what ended up happening so Pretty much that whole five months. I was using 13 gear at the beginning of this year. I was not sponsored by them I, not at all people thought I was because I was still using their stuff um, which I can totally understand I didn't say anything so I understand why people would think that um, but what you guys didn't notice is in some of the episodes I used St. Croix rods I used favorite rods I used Abu reels um, I used some Shimano's I used a lot of Lou's I used a ton of different brands I was experimenting um, you guys know one of my good buddies Lojo he is sponsored by Lou's um, David with Lou's very kind guy amazing dude he's treated me so well um he ended up reaching out he said hey do you mind if i send you a few rods and reels you can test out and try out i said all right that's cool i was just fishing with the reels you know nothing more than that just fishing with the stuff and as time went on you know a month or so into it um i really started to enjoy the product and you know i started to talk to him further to see if we can collaborate in the future and with that being said every company that i work with and you guys can take my word on this i've done this for eight years guys i've worked with many of brands many of companies um a ton of great people and i only use products that i believe in and i know that are legit because i know a lot of you guys are beginners so if i say you know i'm using this and you guys don't know anything about fishing you're going to look it up and you're possibly going to want to check it out and i don't want to talk about anything unless i know it's legit okay so with that being said hold on i need a little <coughs> Thanks, Norm. That's You're welcome. Shot. With that being said, I told David with Luz, you know, we talked and everything. I wanted to use the product that he sent me for a while. And by a while, that while ended up being like probably three to four months. So those four months every single day, like I pretty much fish every day. I was using the Mock Series combos. Um, and I wanted to see if they were legit. You know, I didn't want to say Luz's name in my videos because I didn't want to push anybody in the wrong direction if they weren't the combos that I thought they were. So I used the stuff every single day, literally like just throwing it around, throwing it in my truck, traveling all over the place, fishing with all these boys. I'm just having a good time. And you know, I wanted to make sure that it was legit. And let me tell you guys this, this is my answer right now about loose fishing. Those four months I was using those combos, the same combos I started out with, I'm talking fishing every day. You can ask this boy behind the camera, like Yo. Fish <laughs> every, every, every day. <laughs> And I'm being completely honest with you. You guys look at the combos I started with, look at the ones I'm using now. I got a bunch of new ones now that I just respooled yesterday. I didn't have one problem with any of them. Not one. And that is my 100% honesty right there. 
I haven't either, by the way. And he yeah. hasn't either, and he's been using them. Okay? Out of those four months of us using them every single day. With that being said, I did have one problem, but it was not the rod or the reel's fault. Um, <laughs> I smashed two of mine in the door, so actually I did have a well, problem, yeah. but it was my own problem. He smashed his in the door, which is <laughs> his fault. Um, and then I was fishing a tournament. I don't know if you guys saw, but the, the rod got stuck on one of the cleats right there. And it oh, just no. snapped it right in half. It wasn't the rod's fault. It was just a stupid, stupid scenario. Um, but yeah, guys, over those four months, I didn't have any problems. So now I'm confident in saying that Luz is a legit brand. They make legit products. It's no bull crap. The stuff's gonna last, in my opinion, for the time that I've used it. I haven't had any problems. If I had something, I would say it. If there was some big problems with it and I didn't think it was the right equipment, I wouldn't be partnering up with this company. But this was the answer you guys have been wanting for a while, so I just ended up partnering with Luz um, to be using their rods and reels. And I would like to say a huge thank you to David and everyone else over at Luz. We, um, you know, talked a lot over the over the months and just really great people and the most important thing when it comes to me working with the company collaborating with the company partnering with the company is that relationship you know I see a bunch of guys out here nowadays that you know they'll see something they won't even have the product in their hand and they'll sign the deal because they get a bunch of free product or they get money and that's one thing that I'm not gonna do and it's one thing that I've stayed true of the last eight years and you can go back on my content and watch you know, I'm, I'm just telling you the truth right here. So with that being said, amazing people over there. Um, just just phenomenal. And I almost feel like I'm family. You know, I can call him anytime I want. If I have any problems, I'll let him know. Um, but so far, everything's been good. And I just wanted to kind of spill everything on the table, kind of tell you guys what happened with 13, transferring it over to Lose. And like I said, nothing against 13 at all. Amazing people over there. Um, they really took care of me and I appreciate them, their products were amazing but you know going in to this upcoming year i'm going to be using lose fishing products and i'm hopefully going to be using them forever you know that's my main goal at the end of the day is i have a very long-term relationship and be like family with the company be able to talk to them and um you know if i have any problems be able to spill that but if you guys have any questions be sure to comment them down below i really appreciate each and every one of you guys supporting me in the channel it really means a lot um a bunch of cool content coming soon. This boy. Uh, hey, that's me. Behind. That, that's you, man. That's you. Hey, Old Fishing with Norm right here. <laughs> and then uh, my boy A-Dub over there. You guys can check out their channels. We're going to be collabing the next, like, what, maybe five days. Probably. It's going to be a lot of videos. It's going to be a grind, bro. Probably. Especially in the cold. It's going to be a grind. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, I've been wanting to, like, spill this all my chest for so long but i wanted to make sure that you know the products were legit and i can tell you i took my time i was patient with it i used the stuff i made sure i was comfortable i made sure i liked it and uh i can't say anything bad just just legit stuff for a good price and um guys i'm closing out right here be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell also smash that like button and me and the boys right here we'll see you in We'll see you on Tuesday with a new video. Peace.